Salut à tous, ici Sprulex et bienvenue dans ce sixième épisode de Let's Play sur Life is Strange. Nous sommes toujours dans le chapitre 9. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Je me demande si on peut retourner prendre le bichon photo. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey. It's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough. What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Ah, tirer ou ne pas tirer Telle est la question. Allez, on va se la jouer badass. On veut pas que Chloé meure. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Où est elle, Chloe? This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Ah, 
Jesus. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. out like a superhero. Get me out of here, Max! Allez, on va Come on, Max! Ici, on se loupe. Hurry! Maybe I can open this fuse. Awesome, it's not locked. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Get me out of here! Bah, c'est pas engueulant. 
tu vas réussir à... On va reculer en arrière là parce que... J'ai pas envie d'une horreur. Hop, 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 là. Max I don't want to die here. Ouais. The train's coming. Max, please. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Crowbar? For real? Please! Please! I need to pull this switching lever right now. out like a superhero move Come on, Max. Ah, avec le pied de bille je peux ouvrir la porte c'est ça ça le problème allez recule voilà allez hop pince which wire to cut now that's the right cable max get me out of here yes i did it You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. 
You alter the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about Chaos Theory? What do you know about Chaos Theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have Justin always day. looks dumb. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Where Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? There was just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. Like, what does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her, like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go off. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Alors, meilleur chanteur du monde recherche meilleur guitariste du monde pour former un groupe d'enfer et conquérir le monde. Influence de Ramones, de Shins, de Beatles, de Ramones, de Waystripes, de Smith, de Ramones, de Who, de Style Consists, de Ramones et Lady Gaga. Ouais, je vois pas ce que fait Lady Gaga là-dedans et pourquoi il y a euh, trois ou quatre fois de Ramones. Alors, triste, seul, déprimé, retrouvez la foi avec vos pères, études bibliques les dimanches à midi, bibliothèque d'Arcadia Bay, toutes les régions, bienvenue. Soyez heureux. Ok, bon bah. Desperate much? We're already here. That's 
snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate. Does anybody believe this shit? Change. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Trevor surveys his domain. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? I don't think so. And you hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You stepped between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Alright, so Miss uh, say, sit down, say, say yes. J'arrive pas à lire. Je suis dans la salle de science-fiction. Maintenant, je suis pas le chaton de Schrödinger. J'arrive tout de suite. Allez, on va aller voir. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. No, c'est ici. Bonjour, Madame Grant. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max, we'll talk again. Real soon.
Think, big brain, think. Bring me the brain, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. go diem. go -diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Hmm. Yeah. This can't be that hard. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? I have to add either a. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go. Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works. You get a free hug. Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. That's a minor fail. Boy, can I? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. too. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost... Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently, it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Okay, Go well. on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Hey, Warren. Maxwell. I have to add either. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. 
Eureka, he did it. Check out the big brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Is that I... Is that I denounce Nathan or not? Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Both. Both. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. It's hard to not like Show Hayden because love. he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Bon, j'ai pas vraiment envie d'aller parler à. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. I 
I should have told the principal about Nathan and the gun just for wife insurance. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here, you really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. On va se lever pour aller prendre une photo, non? Voilà Warren. What up, Max? Hey Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to... No smartphones in class, Max. Magic. Put that away. <laughs> to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. ...for some of that. In the end, we can only... Blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, I guess Kate will miss class now. There are a few souls here I'm worried about her. Contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Mais encore, qu'est-ce que je pourrais faire?
on est sur le toit. Allez, elle peut pas yes. mourir. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself max seriously don't come near me i will jump okay okay i'm right here kate please oh max i know you want to help me i love that you stepped up to david but it doesn't matter now nothing matters You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Là j'hésite. Tout le monde va oublier, soit fort ou il y a des milliards de vidéos. Il y a des milliards de vidéos. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied too, but this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. Ton père. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Ah zut. Ah zut. Euh... Alors, proverbe de 21-15, Matthieu 11-28. Le suicide est un péché. Le suicide est un péché. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. 
What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. Eh, oh. dommage, malheureusement. Ne regardez pas. Ah, ça fait mal. Franchement. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. But we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh... Before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Oula. Alors, je pas Monsieur Jefferson. Je vais dire que Nathan l'a drogué, mais... All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing the field. You're a liar. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Alors, est-ce que je signe ou est-ce que je me donne une autre version? Bon, allez, je signe. Je, je vais jusqu'au bout de mes choix. Tant pis pour. Euh... Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Et par contre, c'est dommage qu'elle ne parle pas de son SMS qu'elle a reçu. C'était limite du harcèlement. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. 
like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Et eh bien voilà ce qui conclut ce deuxième chapitre, ce deuxième épisode. Out of time. Alors, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé Vous avez dit à Kate d'aller voir la police ou vous avez conseillé à Kate d'attendre d'avoir des preuves On a conseillé d'attendre. On a répondu à l'appel de Kate, donc on est dans la majorité. On a tenté de tirer sur Franck. Hein. C'est moite-moite là, hein. c'est... Vous n'avez pas pu sauver Kate. Ah, on pouvait sauver la vie de Kate. Et on n'a pas réussi. 
Je pense que c'est la dernière réponse qu'il a... Qui, qui ne l'a pas sauvé. Et je suis dans la majorité avec... Vous avez accusé Nathan. Je vois pas pourquoi on aurait accusé quelqu'un d'autre, étant donné que ce n'est pas de la faute de M. Jefferson. Enfin, un peu de la faute de David, mais pas vraiment. Donc, pour moi, c'était Nathan le coupable. Alors, suivant. Alors, j'ai arrosé la plante, comme la majorité. Je n'ai pas aidé Alissa. Elle avait un problème Bon, bah j'ai raté ça. J'ai effacé le lien de la vidéo, comme la majorité. J'ai été sympa avec Taylor. Ah, la majorité, même si c'est assez serré, la majorité n'a pas été sympa avec Taylor. On a accepté l'invitation de Warren, comme la majorité. On a écrit un message. Euh, ah oui. On l'a écrit. On a trafiqué les rails ou on n'a pas trafiqué les rails. Bon, on pouvait trafiquer les rails. Alors, on n'a pas demandé d'invitation pour la fête du Vortex Club. Là, c'est moitié-moitié. Là, c'est vraiment euh, pile. On a aidé Warren pour son expérience. Euh, ah, on est dans la minorité. Je pensais quand même que plus de gens l'auraient aidé. Et enfin, on a, dénoncé, on a dénoncé David à Jefferson. Dans la majorité. Mais ça n'a pas aidé, malheureusement. Ok. Eh bien, soit. Ok. Et donc, euh, rendez-vous dans le prochain épisode pour regarder le début de la troisième... Euh, du troisième chapitre, du troisième épisode. Chaos Theory. La théorie du chaos. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé. N'hésitez pas à me laisser un petit commentaire sur ce que vous avez ressenti en voyant ces images chocs. N'hésitez pas non plus à mettre un petit pouce en l'air, à vous abonner pour ne pas rater la suite si ce n'est pas déjà fait. Et enfin, euh, regardez d'autres vidéos et partagez-les sur les réseaux sociaux. Sur ce, eh bien, je file. Portez-vous bien. Bye